filter paper, pipe, funnel, Erlen mouth flask, graduated cylinder, two wave boats, the copper sulfate, and the sodium hydroxide. Get the copper sulfate from the bottle and pour 25 milliliters of it into the graduate cylinder. Once that's completed, make sure it is 25 milliliters and pour it into the beaker. Do the same step with the sodium hydroxide, but this time make sure the sodium hydroxide is at 50 milliliters. That's completed, get the sodium hydroxide and pour it into copper sulfate to make your product. To separate the product, get a filter paper and shape it into the shape of the funnel. Put the filter paper into the funnel and once that is completed, put the funnel into the flask. Pour the product into the funnel so that way the filter paper can separate the two products and get sodium sulfate into the flask. The product will be a clear substance that has formed at the bottom of the flask. Then remove the filter paper and open it. Scrape the remaining product of the filter paper onto the wave boat. The copper hydroxide should look like this. The next step is to zero out a weigh boat and then place the weigh boat with the product on the scale to get the weight of the product. Next is to get the other product and set it by the hot plate and set the hot plate at 9. Place the beaker on the hot plate. After a few minutes, the flask will have water starting to evaporate, then it will come to a boil. Once there is no more water, the product will begin to turn dark, meaning it is time to remove the flask and set it down to cool. To weigh the substance, you can just take the flask that has the product in it and place it over the digital scale and you will get a weight. Clean up the lab once you are finished with the experiment. 
When we change our procedure, we have to use store registry to find the new directory yield because the last um, procedure had a wrong equation. So we use store registry to find the new directory yield so that way we can find the percent yield. In the beginning of the experiment, we started with 6 grams of both reactants combined and ended up with 4.9 grams in the end. We did lose a lot of product in the filtering process, but the outcome was still pretty close, which demonstrates the law of conservation of mass. For the industrial scaling up of, the, of this experiment, we suggest that you use a bigger filter paper so that would be less contaminant in the filtering. And also, when filtering, we also apply using pressure so that way it will be faster to separate the copper hydroxide from the sodium sulfate.